Hey, Sivan here. Welcome to the fourth and final video in this uh, Maya Let's Model Omnidroid. Um, this one's going to be covering the podium, posing, and um, rendering. So, what we need to do first is um, show our joints and move our character rig out of the way. Um, in this video, I'm going to use the um, thumbnail podium um, rather than the speed model podium. Uh, it's completely up to you what you use. Uh, for your podium, um, but I'm going to use the text one. So these are the settings that I used for the thumbnail. So let's model, um, times in Roman, a bevel, and then straight out and straight out. What we then need to do is under modeling and edit mesh, uh, under mesh we need to separate and then combine each word back together so they're separate from each other and then what we can do is group them and then we need to scale them up so something a bit more relevant to the size of our Omnidroid um, and then what else we need is um, a cube around the outside because so I'm going to make uh, ambient occlusion renders And then we need a, a cube for our worth to sit on. Right, so once we've got a rough placement in, uh, they're all quite small, so I'm gonna group them and scale them up. So once we're done, we probably wanna add all of these to their own layer. Uh, and make them a reference to, so they don't get in our way. So use the main joint to um, get it kind of roughly in a position where you want. And then once you've done that, we can turn our joints off and use our control vertexes to um, move all of our joints into place. So we need to use all three um, control vertexes to get um, some good shape from our legs. So I'm just going to show you um, one example where we kind of cross over here. So I'm going to get this foot to rest on the L. So I need to raise up the rest of the legs, give them a bend. Yeah, for example, what we probably want to do with this is make it look like it's actually gripping a bit. So I've got the kind of middle in place. I can then go in and select one of the claws and then I can just sort of slightly bend it around so it at least looks more like it's grabbing the seam. So I'm not going to pose all of my legs. Um, it's up to you how you want to pose it. And um, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to um, set this model up for render. So what we want to do is we need to turn all of our objects off of reference, so all of our layers. We also need to in show turn off NURBS curves, so we've gotten rid of our CV curves. And then what we want to do, select the whole area, go into render layers, make a new render layer, and we want to go into the attributes for that layer, so layer 3, and we want to make it an occlusion. Um, the feet will stay white um, because it selected the group of the instance, not each uh, toe. So what you have to do is select one, press the up arrow, and then add selected, and then uh, that will add it to the render layer. Um, I have made a tutorial on how to do uh, ambient occlusion renders but doesn't in include these kind of things. Um, so it's just a, a warning that you will need to add these to the render layer. Um, once you've got it all set up, you can then um, do your um, render. Uh, my sampling level is still low. Like I said, um, you'd have to watch the other tutorial for information on how to get this very nice. Um, but that's... Um, the entirety of the uh, Let's Model Omnidroid series. I hope you enjoyed the playlist.